Hi, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be testing out the new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. I actually have a foundation on my skin that I'm testing as we speak. I usually try and not test two products at the same time, but it kind of just worked out that way today, so I apologise. But yeah, if you would like to see a review of their new concealer, then please carry on watching. I also just need to start off by saying this foundation is a hair too dark for me, um, but just please ignore that. It's not too bad, but it's just slightly too dark. So yeah, this concealer, I have been waiting for Charlotte Tilbury to release a new concealer for a hot minute. The current concealer they have, is it the Magic Wand or the Magic Concealer? I hate the applicator so much. And it's annoying because it's actually quite a nice concealer, but... The packaging, I, I, I remember when I used to have the concealer, I couldn't even open it. It would get stuck half the time. So yes, as well as that, a radiant hydrating concealer is my cup of tea. So this one says it conceals, corrects and brightens, meetable, buildable coverage and 16 hour wear. I got the shade Too Fair, not the lightest one, but just one shade up. And it possibly might be too light, but I thought it's better to go too light than too dark with a concealer. I'm always someone that would rather go too light and then just use a lot of bronzer rather than the other way around. <laughs> so we get that is the packaging. Very pretty um, with like the gold lid. Um, it says beautiful skin on one side and then the other side it's just got the logo. It's quite like your average applicator, quite a small dope applicator. So I'm just going to go in with a sponge to blend this out as well. Wow, that was so easy to blend out. I feel like it's given a really nice amount of coverage. I Look, exactly, the shade looked so light to begin with and then look, once you blend it out, it looks fine. Um, I'm gonna go in with the other side. I don't know if this shade is gonna possibly be too light to use around the rest of my face, but we might have a go. Why is it looking so light under my eyes? Oh my goodness. I'll tell you what, it's brightening. It is definitely brightening. Um, I might just go in with a little bit. Like I say, foundation was slightly too light, so I am just gonna... I don't know if this is gonna lighten it way too much, but we'll see. Actually, I think that has worked out quite nicely. I feel like it's not so obvious about the foundation now. That is looking good. I mean, look, can you see my skin right now? I didn't actually bring a powder in here because I don't always use powder. Maybe I should. I'm just going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I haven't used this in quite a while, actually, um, but I thought hopefully it will pair quite nicely on top of the concealer. I actually have another Charlotte Tilbury product to test in this video, which is the airbrush bronzer. I wanted this for a really long time, however, it didn't really make sense to me to buy this in the summer because I'm such a cream lover, like in those months. However, I thought we're going into the autumn winter. I definitely do lean more towards powder in those seasons, so I want to treat myself to a new bronzer. Um, this is huge. This box is flipping huge. <laughs> I mean, I have the Marc Jacobs bronzer, so I can't be too shocked. I actually was really unsure with what shade to go for. I went with I went with two medium, which is very unlike me. I usually go with the fairest because I'm kind of too scared to go for a darker shade. It is to die for. And then, so clean, so new. Um, I did actually compare this to my Marc Jacobs and it is very similar maybe like a hair darker or and it's also a little bit warmer than my Marc Jacobs one but yeah we are going to go in with this I think I'm going to go in with my Morphe X Jaclyn Hill brush and oh my god I haven't applied <laughs> powder bronzer in such a long time I'm 
not sure if I'm just not picking up enough product. Honestly, I'm like a powder bronzer virgin. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave the bronzer there. I definitely <laughs> need to practice a little bit more, but all in all, I actually really like the shade. I think it's really nice. And it's definitely not the bronzer's problem. Like I just haven't applied powder bronzer in a long time and it's not patchy or anything. But yeah, I think this is a really pretty bronzer. I'm then gonna go in with my <laughs> my Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic blush in Pillow Talk because I don't know, we were already putting on so much Charlotte Tilbury that I thought, you know what? in with this. I'm going to go in with a Charlotte Tilbury Push Up Lashes Mascara. I haven't used this for a while so I'm a little worried that it could be dry but we'll see. A bit of my Dior Lip Oil Glow. Also sorry it got really overexposed. I didn't even realise how bright it had gone outside. <laughs> Do I feel like I've got enough blush on? Not really. So there we go, that is the concealer. And honestly, my under eyes are looking so smooth. I will talk about the foundation in a separate video which will be on my channel, but the concealer looks so smooth. And like the combination of the concealer with the powder, which obviously you would hope they would test together anyway, and they just look so so good together and I even think that shade even though it did look a little bit too light actually worked out really well in the end so yeah that is how my makeup is looking and I really like the bronzer as well I think I just need to get into the habit of using powder bronzer but yeah all together I'm in love with this makeup look so yeah if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel and I'll see you in my next video bye